Hello, welcome to my woodworking channel. I'd like to show you the shop stool I've made. Without going into too many details about my aches and pains and knee and back problems, I'll just say that working on the ground or the floor and getting up and down has become more and more difficult as the years have gone by. I made this bench to make these activities a little less difficult. It works fine for sitting and flipping it upside down gives a padded surface that's more comfortable to kneel on. The handles take stress off the knees when I'm getting up. Stay tuned for some of the highlights of this project. In the lower position it could be used as a step stool, but I don't think it's wide enough to safely stand on it when it's in the sitting position. Construction started with three pieces of 2 by 12 southern yellow pine cut to a length of 19 inches. These were then squared up on the joiner and planer. From two of these I ripped four legs four inches wide. Next a three quarter inch hole was drilled through both ends of each leg. Then I cut the inside corners off on the bandsaw and cleaned up the joints on the joiner. Note to self, I need to make a taper jig for the table saw. I forgot to film gluing in the three quarter inch dowels that connect pairs of legs. Obviously my holes were not drilled straight, but running each leg assembly back through the planer took care of this. I then rounded over the edges that would have been hard to get to after attaching the legs to the seat. I should have done this before inserting the dowels, since the dowels interfered with the bearing on the router bit. I used a sanding block here to correct this. In the background you can see a couple of pineapple door hangers my wife is making as gifts. Next I cut four scrap blocks to support the seat at the right height during glue up. Then I glued the leg assemblies to the seat and clamped them. Since this is just a butt joint with end grain on the seat, I let this dry overnight. I drilled two three quarter inch holes three inches deep through each leg and into the seat. Dowels were then glued in place. I was careful not to stress the butt joint while I did this. I believe the two dowels in each leg made for very strong joints. All the edges were rounded over with a 1 8 inch roundover bit and everything was sanded. Three coats of gloss oil based polyurethane was applied. I used a couple pieces of interlocking foam pads to make a cushion for the knee side of the seat. Two pieces were cut to size and glued together with contact cement. Next, I applied contact cement to the cushion and one side of the bench seat. After this dried, I used freezer paper to allow me to position the cushion on the seat 
then pulled the paper out and pressed the cushion to the seat. I think this stool is going to be quite useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, now would be a good time to do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.